say the respiration lab. If you start with the start here page, you can then go to the course schedule and under week 10 for the fall or spring semester or week 5 for the short schedule or summer session, you'll find directions for the lab and links to it. You can also go to assignments. We'll click on assignments and scroll down. and you click on the Rep Respiration Online Worksheet and you'll see something like this. I'll read through the directions. And unless I tell you otherwise, you don't need to do number 14, the bar graph. That's not required. For Activity B, Fermentation, I will want you to graph that information. I have in a table the tube numbers with the volume shown in milliliters underneath them. So there's tube one, two, three. Uh, there's six milliliters in tube one, three milliliters in tube two, and zero milliliters of water in tube three. Yeast suspension, zero milliliters in tube one, three milliliters in tube two, six milliliters in tube three. Equal amounts of corn syrup in each one you are to make a line graph of the results. And there's a link that you can use to make that line graph, and you'll use the information from this table to make that graph. You have the height of carbon dioxide, the column of carbon dioxide in millimeters, and that is in so many minutes. So as the different minutes pass, as a result, you get so many millimeters of carbon dioxide being captured in the tube for each of the three tubes. With that information, when you go to the web page for the graph, you'll choose line graph and use the defaults. Make sure it's horizontal. You're going to set up seven items and three groups, and you can name this. I set up uh, as the x-axis the time in minutes, and be sure and include the labels for your axes. That is important, and you can put cellular respiration with your initials on it or your name. Notice that the different tubes will have different colors, group one, two, three, and then the different number of minutes. I've got the item numbers and then the values for each of those for each tube as pulled from the table. I use the default setting on this page. And the graph is done. You can view it, double check it, make sure that it looks correct. And you want to put in your email address, who you are, and any comments you want. And if you want to attach the chart image, that would be great. And then click Submit. It should be sent to you. And then you should be done with that. For continuing with the lab, there are some questions to answer. True or false questions answer all of those, and then some short answer questions, and then filling out the table. For this last table, this is required, the information is required. I want you to fill in the column oxygen per minute and then oxygen per minute per gram. For oxygen per minute, you understand from the lab that the volume of air is the same as the volume of oxygen. So you will divide the volume of air by minutes elapsed, and then to get this last column, you'll take the oxygen per minute and divide it by grams. You've got the grams over here. You'll be able to complete the table and send that also. If you need to send the graph as a, an attachment, you'll do so, and you also be given the option of how you want to save your graph. The PNG, JPEG, the PDF 
files seem to work well. I prefer you not use uh, CSV, but, uh, PNG and JPEG especially. You can save it as that. And hopefully that takes care of any questions you have concerning the lab. With uh, one last thing, you click on the cellular respiration. Come down here, you click on write submission, and you'll paste the questions and answers in this as much as you can. If you need to do the um, graph as an attachment, you can browse my computer, go to your file, and use it as an attachment. And send it as an attachment. And come down, click submit, and it comes to me.